What's going on everybody? It's Pharaoh Black and bring you another review. This time is of the Colonel Stars and Stripes Kick-Ass 2 figure. The figure is based on Jim Carrey and the way that he played the character in the movie. So far, as far as accessories go, only thing I can see are his dog and the stick. Um, it's the hood down version, so if it's a good figure, I'll go back and I'll pick the um, hooded figure up. If not, uh, I'll just keep this one in won't even bother with it. Uh, this is wave two of the figures, so they should be hitting stores or whatever. If not, uh, just click on the link below. Take you straight over to Big Bad Toy Store. They'll hook you right up. Let's get this bad boy out of the package and see what's going on with it. All right, figures out of the pack, and um, this is the uh, head sculpt. It's supposed to be Jim Carrey. Yeah. I guess he's in there somewhere. I guess better paint or whatever might have brought it out. As you can tell, it's a little sloppy uh, around the eyes here, and that's supposed to be stubble. That's not really painted that well. Uh, as far as articulation goes, his head, you're able to get about that much up and down movement out of it. Left to right, you can lean it side to side a bit. Um, arms, you're able to extend his arms out about that far. Of course you have up and down movement. You have um, elbow bend, elbow swivel. You have a wrist swivel and a wrist bend. You have waist articulation. It doesn't work that well. I cracked the uh, crotch area trying to do this, so I had to go and resort to every figure collector's best friend and blew that up down there. Uh, he has movement. That's about as far as you're going to get the leg out to. Let's turn it that way. That's about it. Uh, he has a swivel at the ball um, joint as well. Double hinged knees. And you can get them to about right there. You have a swivel joint there. And then this is on some type of like a ball type peg. So it's really hard to maneuver. See how I got this one? This foot can go over like that. But I can't get it inward really. Same thing on the other side. Um, that's pretty much the colonel. And here's his dog. I forget his name. Is Eisenhower or something like that? Uh, he has on the mask. He's a. It's a pretty good sculpt for a dog. You know, what I mean, that ain't bad. Uh, I think he painted on lines to hold the mask on. That's kind of. It's kind of weak, but um. It's not bad. It's not much. It's not much articulation to the uh, dog at all. Uh, he has a joint here and there, and I guess it's really meant for you to be able to pose the dog more naturally. I mean, that's about as much. When I'm moving it, that's about as much articulation as you're going to get out of this figure. So, and his mouth is able to open. So that's kind of cool. I mean, he looks like a dog, definitely. I mean, it's actually better, <laughs> a better dog than most figures come with. Um, comes with this stick, red, white, um, blue stripes on the handle, stars at the top. Uh, hmm, the cobra. The Cobra don't run. 
That's what it says on there. I don't know. I'm having trouble with my camera. So I doubt I can focus in <laughs> for you guys to read it. But that's pretty much what it says. Now, we co we've covered the basics. Let's get into the problem with this figure. Okay. Besides the um, <laughs> lackluster sculpt, let's go to the crotch area. They... I don't know how they constructed this crotch area. I mean, um, area, excuse me, but I don't know. It just doesn't work. It's like a piece of uh, rubber or something over plastic, which I don't understand because it won't allow you to lift the legs any further than that. This is where you're pretty much stuck at. Um, you're not really going to get a split out of them. You'll probably get them open to about right there, but that's about it. Secondly, now, this might be correct that the jacket is a totally different color than the pants. I don't know if it's picking it up, but the jacket is like a um, a very, like, tan, like a brownish tan, and the pants have more of a green tint to them. And on my uh, figure, they painted the uh, legs, but, jeez, look over here. This This leg has no paint. So this is like molded plastic paint. I don't know if it's picking it up, but definitely that. Um, also, the hands. They're already badly painted, but they give you this hole, and you're supposed to stick this stick through it. <laughs> now, this is, I'm sure, doing this is going to scrape the paint somehow. Because it's tight as hell, so I can just see the paint coming off of this damn thing. Um, but there he is holding it. Now, what I really don't like is the fact that they give you a fist. It's not a problem having a fist. You're fighting crime, you need a fist. You need to beat people, um, kick people's asses, you're going to need a fist. But they should have gave him multiple hands like they did with the first figures. I wanted to get him in that pose where he's pretty much holding this stick like this, but he just looks freaking stupid, you know? I don't know. I mean, he'll do. You know, don't get, don't get me twisted. He will do, but he's not great. And I'm not going to tell you that he is. I'm not one of those uh, reviewers or people who buy figures and just tell you everything is great just for the hell of it. Nice sculpted gloves. American flag right there. American flag on the arm. That side. The hood is still there. It's just, you know, it's non functional. I think that's uh, pepper spray or mace or asthma pump. I don't know what the hell that is. But that's pretty much the figure. Colonel Stars and Stripes. Do I recommend the figure? If you have the other kick ass figures, go ahead and buy this figure and, you know, add them to your collection. Um, but if you're if you don't if you don't care about completing the set then just leave it be i mean i'm not i'm not disappointed that i bought it per se but i mean i thought it was going to be much better i anticipated this figure i was pretty you know amped up to get the figure and it's pretty much a letdown in my opinion from the way i was feeling about it oh also before i forget he has the scar on the side of his face right there so I didn't want to leave that out. I don't know what do you guys think. Let me know. Do you think it looks like Jim Carrey? I mean, it's not a. Now that I look at it, it's not a bad sculpt, but it just the the paint apps. I don't know what they've done with these figures. The only one that turned out like great was Kick Ass, and I don't know. They really screwed up Hit Girl, which had me majorly disappointed. But that's ne neither here nor there. It's his review. We won't take the shine from him. Um, with that being said, this is Feral Black. Colonel Stars and Stripes, as always, peace and love. That's crispy.